Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. It is February 11, 2015, and here's a look at our top stories. Tonight, the Obama administration is calling for a three-year military intervention in Iraq and Syria to fight against the very same terror organizations trained and funded by U.S. intelligence. The people we are fighting today, we funded. 20 years ago. Then, the corporate stream media is stunned as they finally learn that there is no economic recovery. And a family asks the cops to check in on a veteran recovering from heart surgery. So the police break in and kill him. He probably felt someone was breaking in his house. All that plus much more up next on the InfoWars Nightly News. Could you imagine funding your opposition, paying somebody to break into your house, or kidnap a family member? Well, that's exactly what the United States government has been doing for a very long time. Whether it was back with Reagan and the Mujahideen, or now with Obama and the Syrian rebels, the Al-Qaeda rebels that have formed, formed into ISIS. They broke out of Al-Qaeda in Iraq and other places and now formed ISIS. And now he wants authorization on constitutional authority to attack the Islamic State in Syria and Iraq. The Obama administration is calling for a three-year authorization to intervene militarily in Syria and Iraq against the Islamic State, the terror army trained by the United States. Obama wants the new authorization to replace and update a 2002 authorization used by Bush to launch the invasion and occupation of Iraq. The 2001 authorization put into place after the September 11, 2001 attacks will remain in place. Obama has used it to justify conducting a drone war against al-Qaeda in Yemen and Somalia. So as I was saying before, you know, you fund your opposition, you pay the guy to break into your house, and you say, hey, I caught the guy who broke into my house, and that's exactly what's going on. And as we've referenced many times, uh, the troops know what's going on. They say, we don't want to fight for al-Qaeda on Monday, then fight with them on Tuesday. They don't want to go through this whole thing and, and have to buddy up with the guys that they're supposed to be fighting, the guys that... They were told we're the enemy, but now they're our friends because we have political gains to get from them. So we'll continue to cover this as it develops, and you can find all these reports on InfoWars.com. Now let's talk about the Internet, regulation of the Internet. They've been pushing this hard, the cybersecurity bills, the CISPA, the PIPA. You know, they always repackage it and try to make it a little more friendly, put more lawyer speak into it to make you, the viewer, think, oh, okay, it sounds reasonable this time. It's never reasonable. It does continue with this. FEC to consider regulating online political speech. The FEC is holding a hearing today to receive public feedback on whether it should create new rules regulating political speech, including political speech on the internet that one commissioner warned could affect blogs, YouTube videos, and even websites like the Drudge Report. The hearing is a response to the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling in McCutcheon versus FEC last year, which struck down the FEC's previous cap on aggregate campaign contributions from a single donor in an election cycle. So as they're talking about here, they want to regulate the Drudge Report, they want to crack down on your free speech. And this isn't the first time we've heard them mention sites like Drudge Report, Infowars.com by name, because as you may recall last year, the Department of Defense came out and said, hey, we can't let people find out what we're doing through the Drudge Report. They're forcing our hands, making us tell the truth. So let's come out with our own softball version before Drudge Report can come out with the hard hitting news. Of course, that's a, a paraphrase of what was actually said. But the purpose and the gist of it was correct. So as they continue to censor not only big sites like Drudge Report, they'll also come after the blogs. So you guys need to be very aware. It's not just the big news aggregates that can be affected. It's your own personal blogs and other things as well. Now, everybody's talking about the State of the Union, the State of the United States economy. And now CNBC weighs in. CNBC anchor stunned. There is no economic recovery. It's not great. It's running where it's been. It's been the same thing for the last five years. There's no improvement in the economy. I do not disagree with they think it's reasonable. However, it's reasonable based on the assumption we're going to have an acceleration in underlying economic activity. We're going to have an acceleration in inflation. And we're going to have an acceleration in wage gains. And I haven't seen any of those basic assumptions come through. So therefore, I have to sit back and question whether or not reasonable is based on a forecast or reasonable is based on reality. And I love what the guy says in the full clip. He says these projections of economic recovery are just that. They're forecasts. They're not based on any actual data. This is what guys sitting around in a room would like to see. They're not actual reality here in the real world. So you can find this and much more on in InfoWars.com. 
Now, something I want to talk about, uh, there's been a lot of, um, I guess you would call it anti-Muslim sentiment since the uh, Charlie Hebdo attacks. And a lot of people are coming against Muslims, but you have to understand that the people chopping off people's heads and, you know, ripping out hearts and killing Christian villages aren't Muslims at large. There are plenty of Muslim people. They woke up today, they went to school, they went to work. Uh, they're not a threat to anybody. But some people are taking it upon themselves to target the Muslim population. And we have three Muslim students murdered near the University of North Carolina. The nation is reeling after three young Muslim students were found shot to death in an apartment near Chapel Hill, North Carolina, late Tuesday afternoon. Police initially said 46-year-old Craig Stephen Hicks shot three college students who lived in an apartment near, near the University of North Carolina campus over an ongoing neighbor dispute over parking. However, Facebook posts made by Hicks prior to the attack seemed to espouse staunch atheistic rhetoric, leading to a question as to whether religion was a possible motive. The three students were 23, 21, and 19. And scrolling through the page, you'll see several tweets. It says, alleged atheists executed this Muslim couple and her sister. Religion is not the enemy, evil is. And scrolling down, more people are chiming in, talking about how the mainstream media isn't covering this or isn't covering it to their satisfaction because you see they have reports about robot dogs and other things, but very little information about the Chapel Hill shooting. And comedian Chris Rock chimed in, and I don't agree with everything Chris Rock talks about, but I like what he said on this. He says, America's top news stories. It says you have nude pics on CNN, ABC's talking about Martha Stewart, uh, secret cooking <laughs> on Fox, CBS, uh, French baby swap, and NBC, sexy symbols found at ancient cult sites in Israel. And none of them are talking about the Chapel Hill shooting. So, you know, people are very upset, not only about the shooting, but how it was portrayed. But we here at Infowars.com will definitely cover these type of stories because we think it's wrong when anybody's targeted uh, in a hateful event, regardless of their race, religion, or whatever else. You know, just because somebody disagrees with you does not allow them the, the right to bring violence against you. And we'll move on to this, talking about violence brought against a man. What if you call the police hoping that they would save your loved one and instead they showed up and shot them dead? We checked and last year the Gastonia Police Department did 531 welfare checks. On Saturday night, they came to the residence twice, but both times couldn't get anyone to come to the door. The only thing I questioned about is why did they make a wellness call at midnight? Neighbor Gene Clark told police Allen was hard of hearing and he hadn't seen him since the day before. According to the search warrant, police claim the 74 year old approached both police and firefighters holding a firearm after they made entry into the home. And if you recall last year, we brought you the story how police were called to help with a suicidal teen. The police show up, the teen picks up a knife and the police shoot the teen dead. And I don't bring up these stories to bash the police. It, the point I'm trying to make is if you call a police officer to your house or to a neighbor's house, they don't know exactly what the situation is. They're, you're literally playing telephone. You call the dispatcher, the dispatcher conveys the information to the police officer. It may not all been clear. They show up, they see a guy with a knife, they shoot him. They show up, they see a guy with a gun, they shoot him. Now, in the case of the, uh, the older gentleman we were just talking about, you know, the neighbors say he was hard of hearing. He didn't know exactly what's going on. And if you break into somebody's house at midnight, yeah, if they have a gun, they're going to pull one out. So, you know, you know, talking about it isn't going to bring any of these people back. But I think it is worth talking about so we can have better communication with the police and the police uh, can, you know, consider, you know, maybe using pepper spray, maybe using some other type of agent to where they don't have to shoot the person dead. Very unfortunate circumstance indeed. Now, unfortunate circumstance in the Bush family is uh, Jeb's daughter. Uh, Jeb is on his presidential run and his daughter was busted with some crack cocaine. Uh, this was <laughs> reported by a Miami reporter who said that a judge had been overseeing the case for Noel Bush and uh, the judge let her off pretty easy. Uh, he gave her two weeks in jail and the judge also received a nice hefty $900,000 to a charity of his. And the reason I bring this up isn't to bash the Bush family, it's not to uh, uh, make light of the circumstances with this young lady if she has a substance abuse problem. I definitely hope she uh, has a ha happy, healthy life and can move past these issues. But the reason I bring this up is to talk about the drug war in general. Because we all know that Bush, especially Bush Sr., was a champion of the drug war. You know, we have to go get these drugs, get the drugs off the streets, even though they got around Contra and it was released, was it back in 1993, that uh, New York Times article talking about how they were bringing drugs in the country, but it's an accident that guys like Rick Ross got them, whether you believe that or not. You know, they're saying that 
on the surface that they're against drugs, but meanwhile, somebody else in their family gets busted on some drug charges, very serious charges. Let's take a look here. Uh, prescription drug fraud, stealing pills from a rehab clinic, and possession of crack cocaine. Uh, what's that, three felonies right there? Uh, if you did that, you'd be in prison. You wouldn't be out uh, on the streets two weeks later. So, you know, I definitely hope the best for Noel, but the Bush family needs to check itself because they would be quick to put you in jail, but when it happens to their family members, they sweep it under the rug and ask you, what's the quote he said? I wish the media would leave my daughter alone and uh, just stop asking about it. Well, leave the other people's daughters and sons alone who get busted in this drug war. And I'm not here promoting drugs. I just don't like people giving all these uh, strict sentences for using them. And we'll end tonight with this before we go into more special reports. Time to examine purposely cooling the planet. It's time to study and maybe even test the idea of cooling the Earth by injecting sulfur pollution high in the air to reflect the sun's heat. The idea was once considered fringe. And I'm going to say it's no longer considered fringe. And the reason I bring this up is because people want to talk about, well, I guess it's been talked about for many years, chemtrails, persistent contrails, whatever the buzz term is that you use to describe these things up in the sky. Now, when I talk about this, are there condensation trails? There most definitely are. The planes flying high in the air and uh, the condensation forms on the wingtips and you get the streams going through the air. I definitely recognize that those exist and I'm not trying to downplay that, but there are also things like this that exist. And you can see the plane right there. Oh, okay, hold on, let's run it back. Let's run it back and let people see all this that's going on. So you see the plane, well, even further back, take it. Yeah, okay, let's, let's show them all. Okay, so you see a plane, it's flying right here, no problems, no condensation, no nothing. And just right here in a second, it's going to pop out. There it is. So you can see that's not a condensation trail. That's a plane dumping, most likely purposely, chemicals or some type of substance into the air. That's good on the video. So, and that's the point I'm trying to make here. Are there condensation trails? Yes, but you just saw that plane. It was flying, no condensation trails, no nothing. And all of a sudden, it dumps it all out into the air. What it is, why it's there, I, I don't know all the answers as to why. I'm just telling you this stuff has happened, is happening, it's nothing new. They're talking about, they're putting out in this report, talking about they'll put sulfur and other things, or sulfur and other things into the atmosphere. But this is nothing new, it's been going on for quite some time. Well, that's it for this segment of the InfoWars Nightly News. Stay tuned because coming up after this break, we'll have a special report from Joe Biggs detailing the situation in Ukraine as well as other special reports. Stay tuned. This is the InfoWars Nightly News. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. For a limited time, get 25% off on this introductory offer. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. Ancientdefense.com. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 Joe Biggs here with InfoWars.com. 
Now today what I'm going to do is show you footage of the blast from Sunday, except this will be a different angle and closer up. We'll get to that in just a minute. Now one of the things I want to talk about is the fact that Russia does have the capabilities in the area to use these tactical nuclear weapons. Obviously we weren't there. I don't know if this was a tactical nuclear weapon, but it was a very large explosion and me being an artilleryman for a long time, I know what artillery looks like and that did not look like an artillery blast of any kind that I've ever seen in my years and years in the military. But here's what we got. We've got an article from Newsweek that says Russia has threatened nuclear attack. This coming from the Ukrainian Defense Minister. It says Kiev has received threats of nuclear retaliation from Russia through unofficial channels if it continues to fight pro-Russian separatists in eastern Ukraine. The Russian side has threatened on several occasions across unofficial channels that in the case of continued resistance, they are ready to use tactical nuclear weapons. And they have also said, or Putin has also come out and said that if the U.S. sends weapons over into Ukraine, then he will be forced to use some kind of retaliation as well. Now, outside the U.S., both established and emerging, uh, emerging nuclear powers increasingly see nuclear weapons as weapons that can be used in a controlled, limited, and strategically useful fashion. This is coming from Barry Watson, analyst with the Center of Strategic and Budgetary Assessments. Russia has not only developed new, relatively low or low yield tactical nukes, but also routinely war game their use to stop both NATO and Chinese conventional forces should they overthrow Moscow's feeble post-Soviet military. Once again, that's not us. This is all the other people over there who are saying this. Coming from the Free Washington Beacon, Russia is moving tactical nuclear weapon systems into recently annexed Crimea, while the Obama administration is backing informal talks aimed at cutting U.S. tactical nuclear deployments in Europe. Three senior House Republican leaders wrote to President Obama two weeks ago warning that Moscow will deploy nuclear missiles and bombers armed with long-range air-launched cruise missiles into occupied Ukraine territory. So what we're saying is that this is possible. Okay? So it's something to keep your eye on. Things are starting to heat up in Ukraine. It's starting to kick off again, just like it did a year ago. Now they're saying there's only been 5,000, but we know there's been about 50,000 deaths in this war so far going on. Now another thing I did... I had some articles sent to me from people who were in Ukraine, and I used Google Translator to translate all the articles to see if I could find any kind of information that would be useful uh, that's something that we don't have already at this point that I've been able to find in any kind of English-speaking uh, websites or articles or anything like that. And I found one thing that was very interesting. A man interviewed a lady who was out there after the blast the next day, and it says, today I tried, and this is a lady in Ukraine, says, today I tried all day to at least get a hold of someone from the neighborhood and find out if anyone was alive, but I was unable to because of the mobile communications did not exist in that area. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the footage I was talking about earlier. Like I said, this is a closer a view of the explosion on Sunday night. You get the exact same thing, except you see that actual, that ore, that huge bubble come out, and then you see it like mushroom out, and you hear the huge shockwave that comes and rolls through, and then just kind of goes to black. Every year we make resolutions to lose weight and get in shape. And the truth is, it's hard. Even with diet and exercise, because of toxic food and our environment that is stressing our bodies more than ever before. Working with experts in nutrition and biochemistry, I found that super high quality nutraceuticals, in addition to my diet and exercise, were the answers that synergistically worked. I can see the drastic changes every day with the amount of weight I've lost, my increased stamina, and more of a twinkle in my eye. That's why we are now so excited to launch the InfoWars Life Resolution Pack, combining three essential formulations, oxygen-based cleanser oxy powder, the secret 12 bioavailable vitamin B12, and your choice of super female or super male vitality. Now all available at a discounted price to you and your family to bring in the new year and make 2015 a true success. That's InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. 2015 is the year to do it, and it all starts at InfoWarsLife.com.
There's just one more thing you've got to worry about as the world moves toward RFID everything. Digital pickpockets. Here hackers show just how easily your credit card information can be stolen from thin air in seconds. It's a practice known as data skimming. It allows criminals to use RFID readers to harvest bank details from cards that use wave and pay radio technology. RFID cards transmit bank details via their own radio signal, so criminals standing just six inches away are able to harvest bank details using RFID readers or even apps that are downloaded to their phones. If a reader or RFID app enabled smartphone is within range, hackers can pick up on that wireless signal as it's transmitted when the card is being used to buy a product. That information can then be used to replicate the card. Now, the fact that the readers aren't able to get the three digit security code off the back of your credit card, that can sort of help, but you'll notice that that security code isn't really necessary for most purchases. And the danger here is that it's estimated that nearly 70% of cards will soon be vulnerable to digital pickpocketing. Now, there are ways to protect your information right now. You can wrap the card in tin foil or you can also pick up a specially lined wallet like those that we sell at the InfoWars store. Not only are they gonna stop RFID identity theft, but also cell phone tracking and eavesdropping. But what's the contingency plan when these RFID chips are gonna be embedded under our skin? Google CEO Eric Schmidt is basically foaming at the mouth just talking about this technology becoming intrinsic. We've already reported about a company in Sweden who is requiring its employees to get RFID chips just so they can make photocopies or enter and exit the building. But these embedded RFID implants will contain a lot more information than just your banking data. Of course, they'll have your social security number as well as your private health and criminal history. They'll be used to track and monitor all of your movements. So of course, this is information that's very vital to not only hackers, but also government agencies. Isn't it kind of ironic to think that in the future, we're all probably gonna be wearing tinfoil hats just to protect our privacy. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Dan Vedanti reporting for Government Fantasy Network. And I'm here in a beautiful February day, nice and hot, well, thanks to climate change and global warming. But we got conspiracy theorists out there right now who are saying it's snowing. Do you believe that? Because remember, Al Gore said there'll be no more polar caps by 2014, and due to global warming climate change, we'll never see cold weather again, especially in 2015 yet. But you'd think that people would listen to this man. That man deserves that Nobel Peace Prize. But uh, conspiracy theorists are saying right now that there's snowfall. Right now there's the third snowstorm in two weeks and record snowfall and I don't see one bit of snow because it's so hot out here and I can't believe people who have the audacity to say we don't have global warming and we don't have climate change and, uh, and they even say that for the polar caps are 40% bigger. You believe this? No, it's just an illusion. That this here, what you see, is an illusion created by the conspiracy theorists. Those pole caps that, you know, they say still exist and 40% larger, created by conspiracy theorists. Because how dare does anyone challenge Al Gore? How, in the, they even have the audacity to challenge a great 
Lord and Savior, our King of the New World Order, our God, Barack Obama, the best President of the United States of America ever. When he is now, his gracious heart has given us free college. You believe that? I almost cried when I heard that. Put simply, what I'd like to do is to see the first two years of community college free for everybody who's willing to work for it. Now I could go to college for free. I already got my free health care. I got my Obama phone, okay? I got all government stuff free from Barack Obama. You believe that? And people have having nerve to criticize this great man who's truly our founding father. You know, people complain, the conspiracy theorists complain that our civil liberties are being taken, but you know what, those civil liberties were created by terrorists. Who was the first terrorist organization in the United States? <clears throat> Who? Founding Fathers. Founding Fathers. You mean Thomas Jefferson? Oh, yeah. You mean uh, George Washington? Oh, yeah. Paul Revere? Yeah. That's right, the Founding Fathers create these conspiracy theories, okay? They created these things called the Bill of Rights. When our government cares for us, okay, Barack Obama created the National Defense Authorization Act to take these damn civil liberties away to protect us. But these conspiracy theorists out there think that we shouldn't have uh, Homeland Security putting their hands down our pants. And I feel great when TSA sticks their hands down my pants. I feel great. I feel like a real American. I feel great because these people are doing this for my protection. I feel great when they radiate me to those naked body scanners. So what my naked image is out there? It's for my safety. It's for your safety, so you shouldn't complain about it. You know, so what that, you know what, we are restricted to what we can do. The government tells us what we can and cannot do. And now, which is great, they want to push mandatory vaccinations. I will roll up my sleeve any day for our great government. There is every reason to get vaccinated, there aren't reasons to not get Are you vaccinated. telling parents you should get your kids vaccinated? You should get your kids vaccinated. It's good for them. And for those people out there, those conspiracy theorists that dare to say that vaccines cause uh, many, many mental disorders, and how dare they say that? Because these vaccines are the greatest thing in medical science ever. And even though they come up with hundreds and hundreds of stories to our one story, how vaccines save the life, they come up with hundreds of stories to that one story, how kids die from it. But it's just a conspiracy theory. You're not supposed to listen to that. You don't listen to that because you listen to our FDA, you listen to the CDC, and you listen to our Lord and Savior, Barack Obama. And again, on this beautiful day in February, what more could you ask for? The sun is out, it's warm. I mean, I'm dressed in a t-shirt right now and I'm ready to go to the beach. But again, you got these conspiracy theorists out there to say, hey, there's global warming everywhere. But again, how, they, how dare they challenge us? Because we are living in this perfect utopia called the New World Order. You couldn't ask for nothing more. And now I'm gonna go right down to the, to the nearest community college and I'm going to roll for free, thanks to my Lord and Savior, Barack Obama. And this is Dan Bedondi reporting for the Global News Network, which is also known as a Government Fantasy Network. First of all, give an honor to God and our Lord and Savior, Barack Obama. Well, that's it for our show tonight. Be sure to stop by PrisonPlanet.tv if you're not a member. You can see the Alex Jones Show, the nightly news, the special reports, the rants, all right there on PrisonPlanet.tv. Well, I'm Jakari Jackson from the InfoWars Command Center, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries in the area of health. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. DNA Force is one of the most expensive formulas to produce. Some of the ingredients in DNA Force are $12,000 a kilogram. We are using the coveted, patented, only American source of PQQ, CoQ10, and more. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? Well, we're bringing you a total win-win. The ultimate value, cutting-edge, trailblazing game-changer that also supports the info war.
we have produced a limited run of DNA Force, and it will take up to 12 weeks to produce more once we sell out. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.